In this video, I will walk you through a solution I put together for automating lead generation for marketing agencies. This will be helpful if you're doing cold outreach and you want to quickly generate lists of leads to reach out to with all their contact info. Now, this solution is broken down into two parts. The first part is building lead lists with local businesses, small local businesses such as gyms and restaurants. I'm going to go through this entire thing in a second. And then the second part is building lead lists with the decision makers of medium-sized companies in specific industries such as B2B SaaS, for example. The result in both of these cases will be uh, a spreadsheet with the leads and their contact information. So let's start with the small local businesses first. As you may know, Google Maps is a great source for finding local businesses. So we go on Google Maps, we search for the exact type of business we're looking for. Let's say we're targeting Madrid and we want to get um, gyms in Madrid. We search for that, we get our results. And then in order to get the contact information of each one of these businesses, we need to go through this list and find the website of the business if they have one. So let's see here, there we go, there's a website. We open the website and then we go through the website uh, through the different pages until we find an email address. Uh, it can be, sometimes it's, there we go. So sometimes it's in, in, the, in a contact section on the homepage, sometimes it's on a separate contact us page, sometimes it's on the footer of the website, it could be anywhere. Um, so that's what you need to do with pretty much every one of these businesses once you have the list of businesses that you want to target. And this can take a lot of time, right? Especially if you want to organize all this information uh, in a Google Sheet that you can use for your outreach. Uh, now, this can be automated. Both of the solutions that I'm going to be showing you here can be automated with a tool called Phantom Buster. If you're not familiar with Phantom Buster, it's basically a web scraper that specializes in um, in web scraping for uh, for social media networks such as LinkedIn, uh, Sales Navigator, Instagram, um, Twitter, Facebook, but it also offers scraping solutions for sites such as Google. And one of, one of their most popular uh, Google scrapers is the Google Maps uh, search to contact data. So this is basically an automation that will take as an input a search that you perform on Google, on Google Maps, and then it will extract all the information that is available for each business um, that is part of the search results here on the Google Maps card. But then what it will also do is open up the website of each business and it will look through that website, through the different pages of the website to find an email address, right? So this automates that entire process that I showed you um, a few seconds ago. If you want to try out Phantom Buster, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can sign up for a free trial and you can follow along in the rest of the video to see how I'm going to set it up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click to use this flow. And then here you can see this is where I'm, uh, I need to enter the uh, search URL. So once again, I'm going to do this search here. There we go. I'm going to copy the URL from the search bar. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to save. Then I go to the next page here where I need to define uh, how many results I want to be scraping. Now, Google Maps uh, limits you to 120 results because that's the maximum number of businesses that it will return on a single search. Uh, so that's the maximum number we can get there. If you want to scrape more businesses, I'm going to put a link in the description to another video I did where I show you how you can um, bypass this limit and scrape uh, more than 120 businesses in a specific location. Uh, save then we choose what we want to scrape. So this is now moving on to the website scraper where um, we want to specify like what kind of data we want the automation to be searching for on the business website. So by default, email addresses are selected. And then we are also going to choose to find uh, the social media networks of the business in case we want to contact them on social media, as well as a phone number. And then here we need to specify the format of the phone number. Since this is in Spain, I'm going to choose Spain from the list here. Save. And then we're ready to launch. 
Now I'm gonna let that run and I'm gonna move over to the second solution, which is targeting, creating a lead list with uh, the decision makers of medium sized businesses. Now a great place to find these uh, decision makers is LinkedIn, right? So on LinkedIn, you can go in and perform a search for the um, type of person that you're looking for. So for example, you might be looking for growth marketers in the United States, you might be looking for marketing managers uh, in SaaS companies. So you can perform the search to retrieve the exact type of person that you're looking for. And then once you have this list, you can open up the profile of each person, you can, um, you can uh, look for the company that they're look the, that they're working for. Then, by opening the company, you can um, find the company the company's website domain. And by having the person's name and the domain of the company they work at, you can then use an email finder tool such as Hunter.io that will perform a search and find the um, the professional business uh, email address of that person, right? And then you can take all that information and organize it in a Google Sheet. So quite a few steps here that um, you need to perform for each person that you want to reach out to. But with Phantom Buster, you can actually automate this using a an automation called LinkedIn Search to Emails. So if I go here on Phantom Buster, I'm going to go back to the solutions page. I'm going to search for LinkedIn. Uh, let's see, LinkedIn Search to emails. There we go. LinkedIn search to emails. Use this flow. The first thing I need to do here is authenticate my LinkedIn account by providing Phantom Buster with a session cookie. Now, the way that you retrieve this session cookie is by downloading the, um, the Phantom Buster Chrome extension in your browser. So you just go on Google, you search for Phantom Buster um, Chrome extension you find this result, Chrome Web Store, you install that Chrome extension, and this is how uh, you will be able to then just click on this button and retrieve the session cookie of your LinkedIn, um, of your LinkedIn account. Uh, this does not like this is secure because you don't need to provide a username or a password. You just provide a session cookie which will expire once you log out of uh, LinkedIn. Um, every time you log back into LinkedIn, you need to update this session cookie. But uh, if you just keep your account logged in, then you you won't need to uh, update this very often. Um, so that's my session cookie save. Now I'm moving on to the second page here where I need to specify the um, the search URL of the 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 search on LinkedIn that returns the the people that I want to scrape and I want to target and find the emails of. So to get this URL, I need to go to LinkedIn. I need to perform the exact search that I need to perform in order to get a list of people that I want to target. So here you can see that I'm targeting uh, people in the United States that. Uh, are in the software development industry and they are marketing managers. So that's my query at the very top. Um, this is the list of the people. And now I can copy this search URL. So the URL in my browser after performing the search and I can paste it right there. This is how Phantom Buster will know what type of search it needs to perform in order to extract the people that I'm interested in. Save. Moving on to the third step here, this is the email discovery step. So once I provided with the um, the list of people that I want to um, extract and find the email of, I then need to select how I wanted to search for that email. So here we have a few options. We can either use Phantom Buster's internal email discovery service. Uh, I think behind the scenes are actually using drop contact. Um, we can use hunter.io if we have an account with hunter.io and we provide an API key. We can use drop contact directly, again, providing an API key and also snow.io uh, we provide a user ID and a secret key. Uh, there's guides on how to obtain these API keys from each one of these providers. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to stick to Phantom Buster because it's the easiest one to uh, get going with. And that's it. That's the configuration done. I can just switch it on now and it will go through that list. Uh, it, will, it, it, will, it will extract the list first and then try and find an email for each person. 
All right, so I went ahead and paused the video and let these automations run for a while. So if I go into the LinkedIn search to emails um, automation, you can see that it managed to retrieve 15 results so far. For each result, I have the, the person's LinkedIn profile URL. I have the email that I was, it was able to find, um, their LinkedIn profile, their description, the headline, the location, um, the image URL of their profile picture, their first name, last name, full name, the number of subscribers they have, their connection degree, uh, the user IDs, the sales, navi the sales navigator URL, um, connections count, um, a bunch of other data points that can be useful when doing uh, outreach, especially if you want to personalize your messages. Basically, all the information that is available on their profile has been scraped and extracted um, together with their uh, contact information. Now, by having this data here, you can actually download it to a CSV file. And by having a CSV file, you can then import it to a, a Google Sheet or any other spreadsheet software of your choice. There we go. Here's all the data. Moving on, I'm going to switch over to the Google Maps scraper. All right, so uh, 120 businesses were scraped from Google from the Google Maps search query. Um, out of those, 113 had websites and those websites were scraped. And out of those 113 websites, 109 websites had contact information that the automation was able to find and retrieve. So we see the here for each business, we have the title. So this is the name of the business on Google Maps, their website, their phone number, their email that was found on the website, their Facebook URL, Instagram URL, Twitter URL, LinkedIn URL, and in some cases, there might be, uh, they might also have a YouTube channel. So um, yeah, this can also be, uh, this data can also be downloaded to a CSV, and you can also import it to a Google Sheet in the same way that I showed you. So this was an overview of the two uh, solutions that I was able to create for marketing agencies to help them automate their lead generation if they're targeting small local businesses or the decision makers of medium-sized businesses. Um, I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos you would like to see, just let me know in the comments below. And also, if you want to schedule a call with me, I'm going to put a link for that in the description as well. And uh, yeah, with that said, I'm going to see you on the next one. Thank you.